Okay, guys, thanks for checking in and having a quick look. Sorry, I'm fixing myself up in my chair and it's a bit creaky. Okay, so I have had my first YouTube blunder. My YouTube blunder is this. I've lost the first piece of my video. Doesn't matter. We will soldier through. All you missed was me punching out one inch squares using my creative memories one inch punch. That's all you missed. Um, and basically what I'm doing is, first of all, let's start off with Echo Park has knocked it out of the park with the New Day collection. It is stunning. It is beautiful. It is subdued. It's not in your face bright. It's I love it. It is stunning. And therefore, I had to use it. As soon as I got it, I had to use it. <laughs> Which is what we want from our papers. Am I right? Okay. I apologize if my voice is a little bit funny. It is midday here on a Monday morning. Uh, well, technically it's afternoon now. But, um, yeah, my voice is... The old COVID, she knocked my voice around a little bit, i got to say. Not happy with it, but that's okay. We soldier on. So, first of all, I, or second of all, I would love to welcome any new subscribers that have appeared on my channel. We hit 500 subscribers over the weekend. To say I was humbled and excited, exhilarated and reinvigorated to go on wow i'm so so happy with it i'm just blown away i'm glad people like my style of scrapping that's the one thing that i'm really excited and i'm going to mention i'm possibly going to be involved with no i won't say anything something down the track okay so what am I doing? So I am creating Karen style. I am going around and I have punched one inch squares out of 12 by 12 papers and it's a brand new pack. Did everybody just cringe? <laughs> Honestly, I kind of had me a little bit of a moment doing it, but I've, I've said to myself, YouTube, if you want to be a content creator and you want people to keep tuning in, you have to use the papers you buy. So I have made a commitment that I am going to load up a video to YouTube at least every other day. At the moment, I'm loading up five videos a week. So I am now doing them at 5 a.m., Australian Eastern time, standard time. Um, so depending where you are in the world watching, I know I have a, quite a few Canadians and I have quite a few people in the US as well. So thank you so much for popping in and saying hi. And of course I have a lot of Aussies as well. That just blows my mind. But anyway, that's the idea, isn't it? <laughs> to teach what I know to people that may not know how to do it or may not have seen how to do it. So something I am doing on this page is something I I, I sort of I struggled with initially, which was sewing on paper. I've always used my sewing machine solely for sewing, okay? I, I won't say that I'm a professional sewer. I am not. <laughs> I use my sewing machine to hem things. To when my girls need one of my children, she needs length in the legs, but she's shorter in the body. So, you know, there's always a little bit of adjusting that needs to happen. So that's what I usually use my sewing machine for. However, now what I'm doing is I'm using my sewing machine a lot more on my scrapbook pages and I'm loving it. 
I realise not everybody wishes to put their sewing machine or put their scrapbook pages through their sewing machine. The secret is this. Use glue. Wait for your glue. Wait for your glue. Apologies for that. Wait for your glue to dry and then you can put it through your then you can put it through your sewing machine and it's not a problem. If you try as I did initially, if you try and use your tape runner and you end up um, putting it through your machine, surprise, surprise, you will not be surprised to know that <laughs> your sewing machine, your thread gets stuck, your machine gets gunky and it doesn't work and you lose faith. So use glue. I have found doing this, Okay, so what I'm doing at the moment is doing a faux border. If I didn't, if I edited out everything like some of the people do here on YouTube, you would think that I have mounted this on a fresh piece of cardstock, but I haven't. You've now seen exactly what I did, and it looks like I've got a just shy of a quarter inch border all the way around. And bingo, look at that. Everything's neat and tidy, everything's perfect. Well, to my eyes, it's perfect. Um, and I've gone around and I've trimmed the edges off and it's looking all neat and tidy. I'm just using my um, Teflon bone folder to squish the glue flat, just so it's got good contact. Now, the reason I use the Teflon bone folder, I know I have some new subscribers on here and they're new to scrapbooking. I will let you know the reason I use a Teflon bone folder, it here if you're in Australia and you go on Amazon AU, the I bought mine and it was about nine dollars for mine, and I thought that was a bit expensive. However, if you have darker coloured cardstocks, black, anything darker, and you when I make my mini albums that I make and I use black if you use the plastic one that comes with I've got quite a few that have come with um, like my envelope maker um, from who is it I think it's we are memory keepers let me just check creak the chair again envelope punch board and it is by do you know it doesn't have it written on here anywhere? Oh, yes, it does. We are memory keepers. I was going to say, why would they not have that on there somewhere? It does. I'm just blind. So I have a couple of those plastic ones, and they're great. They work a treat. Not a problem. But when you want to squeeze the glue out of somewhere or make it flat like that, the Teflon bone folder is much better. It doesn't leave any marks. It's fantastic. So I suggest if and when your money allows for you to step up, that will give you a much better result. Um, now, what am I doing? I'm trying to mount my photo. I didn't really want to trim this photo off and it is a black and white photo and I have, I've scrapped quite a few of these. I'm still waiting for my ink to arrive. I have no idea what is going on with the postal service in Australia right now. It took an extra couple of days for me to get my order from um, from New South Wales. I placed an order and it arrived this morning. Time for a whinge. Wow. It looked like someone had played footy with my order and sat on it a few times and even stood on it. I mean, come on. Really? You've got to be kidding me. I was not impressed. Luckily, the pot of shimmers that I bought was packed really well because between that, I had a bottle of glossy accents, liquid pearls and shimmers in here with my papers. So let me tell you, if I had to open that box, I would not have been a happy camper if it had it exploded. But anyway, but I digress. I'll get over myself. Radio. So now I have my photo. Now this is where, okay, so this particular, this is what I'm using as a title, okay? 
but it was in the center of a four by six cut apart. Anyone that's seen anything on my channel knows I'm not a cut apart person. I use them for anything other than their intention. So I decided to fussy cut this out. And the reason I've left this bit in, because let's be honest, watching fussy cutting is pretty damn boring. But these are my new Tim Holtz mini snips. If you, they just make such light work of it. And because they've got that little tiny bit of perforation on them. Wow. The control is so much better. I am using my cheapo Stanley knife. What do you guys call it? In America, you call them um, X-Acto knives. It's not the exact brand. It was a cheap one. It was on craft online for a dollar. It was a dollar ninety nine. Okay, so now you can see sort of where my head's going. So then I realized because everything has a light border around it, I wanted to, and this is what I was trimming off, was the brown around the bloom. I wanted it to actually have a white edge on it. Here I'm showing you my large Xyron machine. This makes anything into a sticker. Now, I've got two. I've got the large one, and I just showed you the little tiny small X. You just run it through the machine, whatever you put through, comes out, and it's a perfect sticker. I do have, and I have had a couple of people ask me, how do you get rid of the little goobly bits that sometimes stick on the edge? On my large one, I don't get it very much, if at all. However, you just rub your finger on it a little bit, and it comes off, and it's not a problem. I have no issue with it, especially something like that. I want it to stay down. So I trimmed around that and here what you can see me doing is trimming off the, I did some machine stitching. I only went one direction and just to give it some lines going the other way. So see, magic, look at that, it's all done. I did edit that bit because really, that's pretty boring. You can see it in the close-ups and or you can look at the close-up photos that I've taken on my Facebook or on my Instagram. Okay, this video is a little bit longer. Actually, no, it's not. I must have chopped a bit out. Okay, so I have double matted my photo. I have done a little bit of edge distressing on the blue and on the green. And now you can see me very awkwardly. Why I didn't just run this through the machine again? I have no idea. I'm a nut. I know, I know why I didn't, because I wanted to still be able to lift up the corner. I wasn't quite sure how I was going to add ephemera, if I was going to add. I'm not big for that, especially if I've made something as busy as that side. I think if you add heaps on top of that, I think it's too much. It just looks too over. It looks like someone threw up on your page. I don't like that look. I'm, hey, I watch hundreds of YouTubers and content creators that do it and it, they make it look amazing. But for me personally, it just looks all wrong. That's not my style. So, although I really would have liked some florals at this point, but that's okay. See how I'm procrastinating? It's nearly over, I promise. I did, I made a decision and here's the decision. So this is crochet, if you're an Aussie, this is crochet cotton and I get it from um, $2 shop. So here in Caboolture, I have, where did I get, I got it from Overflow, but we don't have Overflow anymore down at Murrayfield. We now have um, Bargain Central, you can get it there. You can get it from King Kong's. You can get it from Spotlight. I find it is more forgiving than twine because you can literally put it wherever you want and it doesn't move. So 
I'm just making a banner out of it. I do add some foam adhesive behind them. I would have lifted them up a tiny bit more with my foam dots that I use from Uniquely Creative. But you know what? The packet wasn't opened and I was being lazy and I wanted to get it finished. So I just used my smaller, my thinner stuff. It's barely two mil wide. Although I am in a crisis situation, people, I can't find it anymore. Spotlight doesn't carry it anymore. Why? I don't know. So at the moment, if you would leave me a message below where you get your double-sided adhesive from, I'm, I've been hunting around. I have found some on, uh, where did I find them? found some on Amazon and uh, Amazon AU and I found some on eBay. <laughs> Do you want a good laugh though? I ordered some on eBay because I thought, oh, that's really cheap. That's not bad. You know, 10 bucks for 10 A4 sheets. I thought that's, you know, not too shabby. It's not getting delivered until July. I'm not sure where it's coming from, but it's coming. I can't even pinpoint. Is it coming from the North Pole? Like, really? That's insane. So, for giggles, I'll let you know when it arrives. Because we're currently in the second week of May. If it takes till July to get here, it's coming via carrier pigeon. I'm sure of it. So... I've made my banner. See, it's something there, but it's not flowers. It's not more wordy word. And yes, that's very slippery because it's on a gloss photo. I did end up, what I did there though, is I used my art glitter glue. Because I know, I know I still have the issue with the Nouveau Deluxe adhesive. But, just saying, I apologise. I'm so close to the end of this and my dog's. My neighbour's dogs are losing their marbles. Let's see if my chihuahua decides to join in. Oh, at this stage we're going okay. All right, cringe with me, people. Okay, so this is about it. That's where I pull it up. I hope you enjoyed that. A few little tangents involved. However, here's the close-up. You can see the stitching, the banner... The banner is going across the top. I didn't put any holes in it. I didn't feel that it needed that. And you can see the stitching. I only went one direction on the stitching. But I think it adds... I don't know. It seems to just finish it off. So there you go. So if you haven't subscribed to me already, I would super appreciate it if you do. It would help get my channel out to other people so they can enjoy my crazy Aussie way of doing things. Thanks so much and I will see you again soon. Bye guys.